Check, 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 check. Patrick's really loud. I just want to make sure I feel as loud as he is. That's it. So thanks. Oh, look. A pick. This has definitely been a Hey, y'all. We want to welcome you to the Commodore <laughs> Grill and welcome you to the Nashville Songwriter Showcase. And this is our next round. Would you please help us welcome to the stage Patrick Thomas, Jared Woo! Blake, and Tyler Kors. Patrick, would you like to start us off tonight? I'd love to start us off tonight. Thank you. Just got to pick a song. <laughs> Guys, how are we doing tonight? We're here. Good. On a rainy Saturday evening. We're glad you're here. Let me put a little capo on here. We're going to start with this one. This is called Magic, and uh, I'm thrilled to be releasing this very soon. You showed up at nowhere, right in front of my eyes. You pulled love out of thin air where there was nothing you set afire. I don't know what you did, I just can't explain it. Something in your touch made me want to rush in. It burns in my memory The wonder, the mystery The world was a blur when it happened I don't know your secret But girl, you're the reason I still believe in magic Then without any warning You just disappeared Left me wide awake wondering Was it all just spoken me? I don't know what I did, don't know where we went wrong You came and then you went ever since you've been gone It burns in my memory Who wanted the mystery The world was a blur when it happened I don't I still believe in, I still believe in, I still believe in magic. First time we met, we were playing on a TV show, and we've never played on a stage since. Yes, I do find it weird. That seems strange. How many years has it been? Ten. Ten years? Wow. I don't feel like I've aged ten years, so that can't be right. But they're on, like, season 87, right? Oh, 20. <laughs> they, they do, like, six seasons a year. Can't keep up. And clearly, ten times six is 87, so 87. Are you allowed to talk about that? We premiere on Monday. 
So I've been able but to I don't know if they know what you premiere on. Yeah, I don't even. I don't oh. even know. You True should, life. You should tell them. You should. I don't even know when I'm premiering yet. Room Raiders. But what are you premiering on? What are you? You're on a show, right? Oh yeah. Oh, I was gonna get to that when I talk. Oh, sorry. I forced you into talking. Never mind. Pretend he's not here. He's not here yet. It's just me and Patrick. Up Jared's right very now. good at spoiling things. You put me in the middle. That's it. It felt like my show for a second. I didn't know. I didn't. I know what was happening. Sorry. I'm gonna go back to me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They baptized me in muddy water. They tried to convert my sinner's soul. Then they performed what they called a resurrection. But they could not wash away that rock and roll. I found the devil's music on a vinyl 45 in a box in the basement. My daddy tried to hide. There was Paige and Plant and Ron and Vincent, Captain and Dennis Chaplin. It was in my blood and all I'd ever need. So blame it on the devil. Don't blame it on me. Blame it on the kick and the snare and the fist in the air. The way that gets all screamed. Blame it on the girls and the cars and the booze and the boss. Living fast and free. Blame it on the devil. Don't blame it on me. I found the devil's music in a beat up Fender Strat with an amp crank to 11 and hair halfway down my back. I tried to run, I tried to hide, but it was just too late to see. Mm -hmm. So blame it on the devil, don't blame it on me. Blame it on the kick and the snare and the fist in the air Where that gets all scream Blame it on the girls and the cars and the booze and the boss Living fast and free Blame it on the devil Don't blame it on me They baptized me in muddy water. They tried to convert my sinner's soul. So when I die, I'll go to sing with angels. Until then, I'll play that rock and roll. So blame it on the devil. Don't blame it on me. Blame it on the kick and the stare and the fist in the air. We that kids all scream. Blame it on the girls and the cars and the food. Living fast and free Blame it on the devil Don't blame it on me Yeah, blame it on the devil Don't blame it on me 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 Thank you Hey y'all So my name is Tyler Coors And thank y'all, thank y'all Thank y'all so much for being here tonight. I am so grateful to have Patrick and Jared join me tonight. Um, as Jared was saying, um, so yeah, these two were on season one of The Voice where it all began and fast forward 10 years later and I'm happy to be on season 20 and it's really cool that we have a show like that to kind of connect us all and um, grateful for the opportunity. But um, yeah, these two are so good. I'm just oh, so excited about that. But. Um, yeah, uh, and we old. premiere. And old. No, and no, so old. Never yeah. old. But uh, yeah, we premiere hair. on Monday this week. And um, thank y'all. Um, yeah, um, not sure when I air, but we have six episodes of Blind Audition. So hopefully you guys will tune in. Um, but to my left is James Rose. He just played not too long ago. And I'm excited that he's playing guitar for me. But uh, this first song is called Different to Me. Hope you guys like it. Woo. Thank you. At 26 
years old I'm packing up my car And chasing down this dream That's been chasing me this far I knew it wouldn't be easy But I never knew it'd be this hard When everyone's trying to do The same things you are they say, boy, now you're living the dream. But it ain't always as it seems. They only see what I post online. But behind the smile, behind my eyes, it's a long and winding road I'm going. This town tries to break you and shape you at the same time But I know that this is where I'm supposed to be I'm living the dream It just looks different to me Won't be like this for long So I'm gonna keep on singing The same old country songs That got me where I am today And keep me working harder But I know I won't forget The place that gave me my first start They say, boy, now you're living the dream but it ain't always as it seems They only see what I post online But behind the smile Behind my eyes It's a long and winding road I'm going down This town tries to break you shape you at the same time but I know that this is where I'm supposed to be I'm living a dream it just looks different to me time you see me on Instagram, think before you write the comments that you send that say, boy, now you're living the dream. But it ain't always as it seems. They only see what I post on. Behind my eyes It's a long and winding road I'm going down This town tries to break you And shape you at the same time But I know that this is where I'm meant to be I'm living a dream Just looks different to me. Thank you so much. Yeah, buddy. Thank you. I lost my fiance. I was going to ask her what to play next. I don't know where she went. Oh, she's back there. Oh, nice. Well, I'll ask my sister. Sarah, what should I play next? See, I only... I, the, the, the songwriters have this problem where we forget our own songs. And so I only, I only prepared for, uh, for, for three because I'm an underachiever. Yeah. Oh, God. I'll play another song that Brianna and I wrote. I'll play a really, really sad song. 
Uh, this actually is, is going to be the, the release after this, this next one. Um, very fortunate I got a guy named Sean Neff who makes my music sound really good. He's not here tonight, but I wish he was. Uh, he's an awesome producer, and so he's, he's doing this project with me, and one of the songs is a song called I Don't Drink Tequila. Um, that's, a, <laughs> that's a lie, uh, but it's a good song title, and I'm at least ab abiding by it tonight with my, my whiskey. So this is called I Don't Drink Tequila. Uh, I will warn you, this is a real sad song, so you might have to lower the level of the conversations for just a minute. Get in the mood. I don't say that selfishly at all. Uh, it goes like this. I don't drink tequila anymore. Well, hell, now I barely even drink it all. Cause every sip just burns a little more. And memories never drown in alcohol. The truth was ever clear with every bottle. But you ain't gonna walk back through my door. Things enough when I'm just drinking water. So I don't drink tequila anymore. I don't say I love you anymore. Cause if you're not there, I hear it, it ain't true. I can't get my heart away when it's still yours Even though I know you want me to Well, I used to throw those words around so easy But I'd never known a love like this before Hell, I don't think that even I'd believe me. So I don't say I love you anymore. You know I'm all the things I've given up. Baby, you're the only one I know I'm never gonna quit for good. I don't talk to Jesus anymore. Guess I can't think of nothing new to say. And you're the only thing worth asking for. And I'm sure he's tired of hearing the same damn things. In my knees, I'm you left me because he's answered every other prayer before but I've wasted too much breath on this already so I don't talk to Jesus anymore I don't say I love you anymore I don't drink tequila anymore. Thank you. I'm not going to lie. Through the first and second verse, I was like, yeah, I've been there. I've been there. And then you went to the Jesus, and I was like, whoa. Hey, now, you crossed the I know. Oh. It, that was always... Every publisher I ever played that song for it was like, oh, I don't know, country audiences, no, no, they no, do man, love man, the Lord. Man. And I'm like, I know, I do too. I just... I, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's we all, we're all a fan of Jesus, man. Back Give off. Break. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Well, I'm going to keep us sad then. Wouldn't so up until... What's that? Of, sorry. No, <laughs> it wouldn't be a Nashville writer's round if you didn't keep us sad. That's what we do. We just play sad songs. Well, it's the music business. If you haven't been in it, well, it's pretty sad. Um, anyway, so um, 
up until COVID, I was really fortunate. I got to fly around the world playing for our soldiers. And uh, every time I don't play this song here, there's some, uh, somebody out there that goes, man, you didn't play that song. And um, so I think I have to play it here every night now that we're out here. Um, our military, I don't care what side of politics you're on, I can tell you this for sure. Our military are some of the greatest men and women on the face of this earth. And I'll, I'll go a little further to tell you, every time I get back here, I'm a little disappointed. Because then I walk in Walmart, and I'm like, holy shit, we just sent out the best of our people to the front line for you. For you. <laughs> I'm just being serious now. I mean, come on. These are some of the most amazing people ever. And then I think about it, and I was like, I was thinking about it one day, and I was like, I feel like that we should not send our soldiers over, and we should handpick some other people we don't really want that much, and send them over... But then I realized not, that shit wouldn't get done. We have to have our best out there fighting for us. And um, I said that just to lighten the mood before you hear this dark shit. But um, <laughs> can we say shit? I don't know. I said it four times. I don't know. Sure you just got on to me for, for talking about Jesus. And, uh, I love I, Jesus. Jesus knows me, though, Bo. <laughs> he knows me. <laughs> anyway. So this is, a, this is a song we wrote about a friend of ours that came back from war, and um, he, was in a, he was in a bad position, and he rolled around in a wheelchair for about six months with a nine millimeter tucked to his side, and he said it wasn't a matter of if, it was a matter of when. And um, he found the strength to move on, and he created a foundation uh, called the Boot Campaign, and uh, they've been all over the world raising money for soldiers' families, because he said, you know what? I'm a soldier. I wasn't meant to die this way. And he's continued this fight all over the place. And um, we, were, uh, we were sitting in a bar on New Year's Eve downtown, back when we had to sit in bars on New Year's Eve. And um, Randy Couture was there with us. Anybody know who Randy Couture is? UFC eight-time champion? Yeah. He's there, and he's drunk, and he keeps getting my face. And he goes, 22! And I was like, dude, chill. But I didn't really say that because he's Randy Couture. He kicked my ass, and so I didn't say anything to him at all. And he screamed in my face like four more times that night, 22! The next night, he proceeds to get drunk again and send me poetry in the middle of the night. And I was like, this is creepy now. I got this guy that eight-time world champion sending me poetry in the middle of the night. And so the next day, I was like, dude, what's, uh, what's up with the poetry? And he was like, oh, man, I'm sorry I got really drunk. I was a foreign literature major before I became a, a fighter. And I, I get drunk and I send people poetry. I don't know why. And uh, so I was like, you ever written a song? And he said, no. And I said, next time you come to Nashville, let's write a song. And he gets in town. I was like, hey, that night you kept screaming 22 in my face. What did that mean? And he said, oh, 22 soldiers commit suicide in the United States every day. And I, I, I started talking about my friend. And he was like, I know that guy. And this is the song that came out. I wrote it with Randy and uh, Eric Landis. And uh, hopefully I'll get it right. It goes something like this. Well, you can't unsee what I saw And you can't get back what I lost I left home a kid And I came back a fully grown man Lest both of my legs And five of my friends And nothing makes sense I never thought I would be staring down the barrel of my own gun. Oh, Lord, can I still go to heaven after all of the things that I've done? You can't have back who I was No, I'm still the one that you love And I don't expect you To live with a man you don't know So if you have to go Fight you I won't Hate you I don't 
I never thought I would be staring down the barrel of my own gun. Oh, Lord, can I still go to heaven? I've got nowhere else left to run. Well, it seems so damn easy. One shot and I'm free. If only it would only kill me. But the truth is, you see, that's not how it be. I've lost a wife and five brothers, my kids and the man that I was. When I thought that I'd live the front line, but the fight for my life rages on. We lose 22 soldiers and only a day. Lord, that's the unspeakable truth. So I'll lay down my gun and I'll soldier on. And there will not be 22. I'll lay down my gun and I'll soldier on. Today there won't be 22. Thank you. Y'all make some noise for our soldiers. Come on, get up for them. Yeah, so I'm going to keep us sad. Uh, wow, that was so good. Um, this next song is called Talking to the Moon. I co-wrote this with Miss Taylor Borton. Great songwriter and artist in town. Look her up. Um, but she came to me one day and she's like, you like sad songs? I like sad songs. Let's like, write one together. So. We did, and um, this is what we came up with. <laughs> Hello, and are you listening? Cause I've been waiting for this time. To end, life is twinkling, and I don't do this often, but I just need a friend. Cause I finally met someone, and it scares me to death, and I'm not sure what to do next. So I down on me another night spent talking to the moon another dawn here too soon hello if you don't mind and I know mama's lonely could you make sure she's alright my father and my grandfather too they're pretty strong but men get lonely too so i'm gonna lay it on the line you're a thousand miles away but the closest thing i can find when it's late and i'm crying you're looking down on me Another night spent 
rocking to the moon Another dawn here too soon so much you got a beautiful voice ma'am thank you Patrick that, right yeah. back at y'all oh. guys we still doing all right Woo. good oh. I uh, had to be very Nashville and drop my guitar down a half step <laughs> I didn't know that when I when I moved here and started playing guitar that you got to have your guitar down a half step or you've done it the last two songs brother I'm not, not sure what you're oh I know on. I know you did <laughs> I know Oh, that sure is a pretty guitar you got there. I'm very fortunate to have this guitar. This was my dad's 19, he bought it in 1963. It's a 1963, yeah. Um, this just goes under the category of things I couldn't afford. Uh, <laughs> which is a bit large category, but uh, you know, such is the life of a musician. I'm debating whether to play something sad or mid-tempo or up, I have no idea. I was. Uh, if moving on were easy, how's that one feel? We'll do that one. I wrote this song with uh, a lady named Jennifer Denmark. She's one of my favorite writers in this town. And for the longest time, she you know, was relatively unknown. And this year, she had her first number one, which I'm so, so, so very happy for her, uh, with Jimmy Allen, which is fantastic. Uh, it's great news for her. It's bad news for me, because now I can't write with her anymore. Uh, she's number one writer now. Oh, that's, that's, oh. I kid. We. Uh, we still write a lot of songs, and she's got a lot of songs on uh, that I've released, including this one. Uh, if you go to Spotify, shameless plug, search my name, Patrick Thomas, you will find this song. It's called If Moving On Reezy. I'm very proud of it. I hope you enjoy it. If I'm moving on were easy, I'd be back in Alabama. Not driving west for Texas like the fool you know I am. These exit signs keep telling me that I should turn around, but I don't. If I'm moving on were easy, I'd be kissing someone new. Oh, but every girl I meet just ends up hearing about you. I've given time all the time it needs to get me through, but it won't. I've tried everything to leave you in the past. Well, it's not that I don't want to, I just can't. I wouldn't still be hanging. On to every memory. If we're moving on, we're easy. If smoke will fill my eyes the way it fills this motel room, well, then maybe it could blind me so I wouldn't see the truth. Oh, and I sure wish the whiskey could have placed the taste of you, but it don't. I've tried everything to leave you in the past. Well, it's not that I don't want to, I just can't. I wouldn't still 
will be hanging on to every memory. If you're moving on, we're If I'm moving on or easy, I'd be back in Alabama, not sitting there in your driveway with these daisies in my hand. Well, I can't make up my mind, but hell, I made it all this way. Should I knock or drive away? Every memory If I'm moving on We're easy But it ain't easy No It's strange Yeah, man. Did I hear that you were getting married? That's true. Woo! This beautiful lady right here. We're getting married in uh, just three months. Three months. May 23rd. Pretty soon. Yeah. Well, I've been married for a bit now. You got any advice? Just this song right here. Oh, it's not going to be bad or anything. <laughs> I mean, I was scared of it for a minute. So here's the deal. So we had this fight, and I went over to a buddy's house, and he had just had a fight with his wife. And I was like, well, I know what we're writing today. And we thought we were going to write the angriest song in the world. And what we wound up writing was another freaking love song. Because here's the thing, man. Everybody can love someone when things are good. But it's real love when you love someone and you know how sucky they are <laughs> you know what I mean like seriously like I mean there's a lot of people that want to love you at your best but only a select one or two want to love you at your worst at least one or two that you want to love back you know what I'm saying that's besides right besides your mom, your mom. besides yeah. your mom oh. and it's just weird if you're still sleeping with her in your 30s so it's just you know <laughs> wow it's that kind of night <laughs> As long okay, as I'm around. I, this is the wrong thing to say, but uh, whatever. I'm, I'm going to say it anyway. We had a weird moment on the way home because she, uh, I, you made me think of this because you're talking about incest. And I know that's a bad pre <laughs> I know that's a bad way to preface I'm what Arkansas, I'm about to say. Brother, I'm, really, I'm from I'm, Arkansas. I'm really sorry about, about It's a thing. Should I just stop? <laughs> no, no, I'm going to say it anyway. Uh, no, no, it's not bad. It just made me laugh. We were on the way home from the venue. We were picking out our, our linens and our lights today at the venue. And we were getting close to getting married. And, and my mom is in town, which is wonderful. And so she happened to be uh, with us in the car. And, and we're talking and talking about um, accommodations for people that, that we need, who needs to sit down, needs to do what. And, um, and Lauren says, oh, my, my grandmother's going to be there. Uh, Grandma Mary, she's going to be here for this shower. And that's wonderful. And I said, well, do I need to, like, vacate the premises? I, I got this shower at the house and do I need to be gone or is this is just a girl's time she's like no no I mean we'll do the shower but she's gonna she really wants to see you um just not in the shower and <laughs> I it just took me I, <laughs> okay she's like no no grandma would love to see you just not okay so uh anyway that's my that's my incest joke and now we can play music great I don't think we can sister. go there yet so my incest joke nope, is that nope, I'm pretty nope. sure that her grandmother wants to see me in the shower it's it's a straight, she compliments my legs every time I see her. They're good legs. <laughs> okay, so anyway, so we were really mad, and we wrote this song. And I really think about the fact that she was ever going to hear it. I don't know why I didn't think of that, but I guess I thought it was going to be a crappy song, and no one would hear it. Anyway, 
she calls me up one day and she was like, hey, I'm in town, I'm gonna stop by the studio. And uh, she hadn't done that in a couple of years. And I was like, oh, that's cool, stop by. And as soon as I hung up, I started thinking about it and I was like, the amount of time it's gonna take her, oh crap, we're gonna be recording that song when she gets here. I don't think that I was so much worried about her hearing the song, I was more worried about the fact that we were spending our money to record a song about our fight and I was pretty sure she's going to figure it out. And she walked in as I was, I was singing the first verse. And I, I finished up and I walked out and she just sat there silent. The whole room was silent because you could feel something wasn't right. And she looked up at me and she's like, I saw what you did there. It was pretty cool. And that's why I love you. There's a lot of other reasons, but we can't go into that right now. The slam of the door, the walking away, the silence that comes when there's nothing to see, the answers you want they don't exist, the man of your dreams only me at my best. I'm damned if I do, damned if I don't. Damn woman, what do you want? I play it cool, you want it harder. So I've walked through fire, and I've walked on water. Here you are looking at me with those innocent eyes, and I realize I'll be your fool. Anytime the way we exist between lovers and fools, the high of the highs and the low of the lows, maybe that's life, or maybe it's not. Maybe we're perfect, or maybe we're lost. I'm damned if I do, damned if I don't. Damn woman, what do you want? I play cool, you want it harder. So I've walked through fire, I've walked on water. And here you are looking at me with those innocent eyes. And I realize I'll be your fool anytime. Cause I need to know if this storm we're in will break us apart. Or teach us to bend The reasons to stay may seem crazy, I know Always one step ahead of the reasons to go I'm damned if I do, damned if I don't Damn woman, what do you want? I play cool, you want it harder So I've walked through fire, and I've walked on water you are looking at me with those innocent eyes. And I realize I'll be a fool anytime you needed me to. You needed me to. Girl, I need you to just need me to. The greener the grass. The harder to find, you want it all, babe, give it time. The mountains we move, the hills that we climb, brought us through valleys, the tires and fine. Yeah, here you are looking at me with those innocent eyes, and I realize I'll be your fool any time. Thank you. Hey, thanks for having us out tonight, man. No, I can't thank y'all for joining me. Like, y'all, so, like, I watched you guys when you guys were on season one, and I'm, like, still kind of like, wow, there. Yeah, I was, I was 12. What were you like? You were like nine? 12 and nine. 
It's but, amazing. No, but I just remember them so clearly that season because, like, these two are my favorites. And, like, Patrick, I wanted to grow up and be kind of like him. And then when now we're friends, sort of, and doing this, and I'm like, this is nuts. And then I still listen to their stuff that they recorded on the show, but it's that's a long story short. But, um, yeah, thank you guys for joining me tonight. It, it means a lot, so. Pleasure. Thank you, thank you for having us. Yeah. Um, this next one I got. Oh, yeah, you can clap for them. <laughs> I think we were clapping for you. I, th- oh, I, thought- I doubt it. Um, this next one is um, one I wrote when I got back from uh, L.A. doing The Voice, and uh, I had the pleasure of writing this with James Rose right here on my left and Luke Turkovich back there, and he's actually here, and he's not in the bathroom this time. <laughs> but uh, long story short, last time I tried to give him a shout-out, he was in the bathroom. But um, this one's probably, like, one of the favorite ones I've written in a long time, and it's about home and it's about my life. And uh, my grandpa used to always ask, he was like, put your grandma in a song. And it's when she passed away in February this last year and it was a hard thing and I still haven't been able to write it. But I was like, maybe if I put him in a song, it'll hold him off for a little bit. But um, this one's called Hometown Proud. And I, like I said, it's one of my favorites and I can't wait to release it when I can. So yeah, let's kick this off, James. Time flies when you're living I've been living it up And all these shows But nobody knows This life can be real tough I know they see the mileage I've come so far But they don't see the wear and tear That it adds to this car Even though Actually, hold on I think something's off do you want to start from the beginning? I can do that. It's my round. We're gonna, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's just start from the beginning. <laughs> and they say time flies when you're living. I've been living it up. And all these shows, but nobody knows this life can be real tough. I know they see the mileage I've come so far But they don't see the wear and tear That it adds to this car Wishing that the road that I was on Was heading north Back to all of those familiar faces There on my front porch just what I'm leaving Don't think that I felt worse Holding on to all the things I never wanted to let go Like the feeling of a best friend's hugging knots That hold me close In this moment all I want is to Put this car in reverse But then I remember what my grandpa told me now. And he said, son, you go and make our hometown proud. Thank you. I know I made my decision, pedals on the floor. My mind toward where I'm going Ain't looking back no more Even though I'm wishing that the road that I was on Was heading north Back to all of those familiar faces There on my front porch I know just what I'm leaving Don't think that I felt worse Holding on to all the things I never wanted to let go Like the feeling of a best friend's hugging arms that hold me close In this moment all I want is to put this car in reverse 
Then I remember what my grandpa told me now. And he said, son, you go and make our hometown proud. Wishing that the road that I was on was heading north And back to all of those familiar faces there on my front porch I know just what I'm leaving Don't think that I felt worse Holding on to all the things I never wanted to let go like the feeling of a best friend's hugging knots that hold me close. In this moment, all I want is to put this car in reverse. And then I remember what my grandpa told me now. And he said, son, you go and make our hometown proud. Thank you. All right, let's hear it. That was Patrick Thomas, Sherrod Blake, and Tyler Kors. Thank you all so you much for so Freedom much. Plug. Stick around. We've got more artists coming up. Oh. That's it. Yeah. It was three. That was so quick. We thought we, thought we had one yeah. more. No, you're good. You guys are killing us. <laughs> I just want to say thank you all so much. All the all time much. we got to get this together. Okay, well, we're not going to leave it at that because I'm going to let Tyler say thank you first. Go ahead. Yeah. I just want to say thank you all so much for spending your Saturday night with us and to the Commodore and Annalisa and Jimmy for always having us and being so welcoming. But then to James Rose right here, who's been an incredible accompanist to me lately. And honestly, can we give a round for Patrick and Jared? I'm so incredibly grateful that you guys joined me on this. So thank you guys so much. And, give it up uh, for Tyler Kors, for Jared. My name is Patrick Thomas. You guys come say hi to us. Come, uh, you know, buy our CDs and stuff. I think we have CDs, right? Yeah, I don't. I no CDs here. Okay, come buy my CDs and we'll, and we'll get them CDs CD. soon. Guys, thank you very much and uh, give it up for the next crew. They're yeah. coming up soon. Thanks, thank guys. You guys. All right, what a great round. Hey, I want to remind everyone if you want to find out more information about the artists you see here tonight, you can do that by visiting our website. It's NashvilleSongwritersShowcase.com and you'll find links to all the performers that you see here this evening. And FarmersOnly.com. We're there, too. Don't, don't forget.